Justin Trudeau was in Calgary for the only Alberta stop on his cross-country lovin that he says he launched to connect with Canadians. But it's more likely that the tour is serving as damage control over cash for access allegations and impending ethics reviews. There were a mix of people at the event with about a hundred protesters with signs outside and I got a chance to talk to a few of them. Like this lady who is worried about her grandchildren. Our kids are already, that aren't even born are saddled with debt for the rest of their lives. Is this a man who cares about Canada? I don't think so. And this man that thinks Alberta gets ignored. What we're looking at right now is four or five years from now, according to the Liberals, $200 billion plus in debt. Uh, history tells us that's probably closer to 300. Who pays that? Ontario's broke. Um, Manitoba, I mean, they're not going to pay it. It's going to fall on Alberta. What benefits do we get? They cancel their projects with Fort McMurray. Uh, they send money to Bombardier, not the oil industry here. Um, Alberta is ignored, and uh, it's just about time people realize that um, the Canada you grew up with, it's not the Canada you're living in now. I also went inside, close to the event, where there was a huge lineup of mostly millennials. Check out the footage here. The first thing I noticed was that there really weren't many working class Albertans responsible for mortgage payments and household bills there. The majority on the inside were Trudeau fans, like this young lady who liked that the Liberal caucus was doing what she thought to be a good thing in giving students relief from paying their student loans until they're making a decent salary and can pay them back. I really like his plan um, in regards to student loans. So he wants to make it so you don't have to pay student loans back until you're making a certain amount and it's actually a decent living wage, um, which helps because a lot of people get out of school and immediately they have to pay back their student loans and that's very stressful. And a lot of people can't afford it because if you're just starting your career, the majority of the time you don't have money to pay it back and then you just go into debt. And this young lady that just wanted change when she voted. I think Canada needed a change. And I decided, I don't know, I just decided to go to the liberal route instead of say, like saying conservative again. What do you think made you change your mind to move over to Justin Trudeau? Stephen Harper's policies at the end kind of got a little crazy when he started going anti-Islam and all like saying like you can't wear the niqab and all that stuff and it got like, I don't know, he got a little weird at the end. His, like He was great for our economy, his like, his policies on oil and gas and everything like that is great but like, yeah. I don't know, he's been in office for a long time, so. But there were some in the lineup that weren't there for Trudeau. This man thought that he was never going to get a chance to ask the Prime Minister a question, and I wanted to know what that would be. If I could get in, I'd ask him what he meant about phasing out the oil sands, and whether he understood what that would mean in terms of the liberal unpopularity in this province. This lady from Fort McMurray wasn't for or against Trudeau. She just wanted him to realize that her community still needs help in recovering from the devastation of the wildfires. I'm here to uh, talk about Fort McMurray. I'm a resident that was displaced by the fire and I just came back from a two week stint up north saying goodbye to my sister and uh, my foster sister and I got some time to spend around what's happening with people up there and uh, it's heartbreaking, it's heartbreaking. I, was, uh, I ran a nonprofit up there to see where my former clients are sitting where my f fellow neighbors are sitting, you know, there's just so much that the federal government hasn't come in and stepped in and helped with. And uh, I, I'm just here to say, hey, you know, what about Fort McMurray? Because we're devastated up there. From what I saw in the crowd and from the interactions that I had with people at the event, there was definitely a mixed reaction, much like what we saw from within the town hall itself. There was a mixture of reactions from boos to cheers all around. There were a mixture of friendly and tough questions. This was Trudeau's only stop in Alberta, and I think that's probably why he chose to stage it at the university. Of course, there are tons of Justin-friendly millennials to attend. If it had been at any other venue, I think the outcome would have been much different. But like I said, this is a Trudeau vanity tour. He doesn't want to hear from regular Albertans. For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas.
Thanks for watching. Have you signed up for Rebel emails yet? If not, click the link below to receive our updates so that you don't miss any of our latest.